I had been waiting to get my hands on an Intel Arc GPU laptop since probably about midsummer of last year when we got on a call with Tom Peterson. I was really excited to see what Intel was doing with their lineup now controlling both the CPU and the GPU in the systems that they were equipping. Now, I was curious how much more performance we would get from an i7-1260P since we were already seeing great 4K video editing results even without a dedicated GPU, just the integrated graphics. So when I got in the HP Spectre X360 with the i7-1260P and A370M, I was really hopeful for even better performance than I saw out of something like the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 or the Dell XPS 13, these laptops that were showing great performance inside of Photoshop, video editing, and really just battery life capabilities. But I was severely disappointed and uh, I agree with Linus and what he said about it. The new Spectre X360 from HP is actually worse than the old RTX 3050 model, and not just by a little bit. After watching Linus's video, I think it was obviously more than just myself that saw the issue. It was not just a fluke for my specific model, um, but the model in general. It was buggy, it was low performance, it just severely disappointed. The Photoshop score was about a 585 when the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 without the Intel Arc A370M GPU scored about an 807. So there was something severely wrong with how HP and Intel integrated that system. Now I say this as more of a public service announcement because then Intel sent over the ASUS ZenBook Pro 15 Flip OLED. Now this video is not sponsored by Intel, but they did send this laptop to me just as a disclaimer. Now, as soon as I fired up the system, I did not experience that bugginess. I mean, with the HP Spectre, getting through the Windows setup menu was slow and buggy. And then when I even got the laptop going, it took me forever to get the trackpad even functioning in a reasonable way to use the system. That was not the case with the ASUS ZenBook. This comes with the i7-12700H and the Intel Arc A370M GPU. So when it comes to purchasing a new system with the latest A370M GPU, I can highly recommend the ASUS ZenBook Flip. I've done a full video on this laptop, so if you wanna check it out, definitely check out, uh, I'll link it up at the end of this video. But I cannot recommend the HP Spectre X360 until maybe I get word for some other people who have tested it and say, yes, it now performs great and has no issues. But this is a public service announcement and a celebration of the Intel Arc A370M GPU inside of the ASUS ZenBook really getting things right. Now, right off the bat, the battery life was incredible. We had 10 hours of battery life out of the i7-12700H and ARC A370M combination. Now this was amazing because up until this point, I'd only ever seen an i7-12700H get about seven hours of battery life max. And this is with the GPU and CPU running at the same time, which means that the components are working together extremely well. Now in regards to performance, we saw fantastic export times out of Premiere Pro, just above the three minutes minute mark. And for a laptop that gets around 10 hours of battery life while streaming video playback, I was very happy about that. Now for 4K playback, when it came to the HP Spectre, it dropped about 74 frames for full quality 4K playback. There wasn't even any i7-1260P systems without the dedicated GPU that were dropping that many frames. So what I noticed was it was a big glitch here with this system. I jumped into Premiere Pro with the Asus ZenBook and dropped zero frames with the 4K video playback. Now for 6K B-RAW playback, we saw about 6,833 drop frames. So I would not consider Intel Arc A370M a revolutionary product for 6K video editing. I think when I test out their five or seven series to come later this year, I'm excited to see what kind of performance we can get for 6K B-RAW video editing. Now when it comes to these Intel Arc systems, it's more about good performance with fantastic efficiency. One thing that Tom Peterson talked about during our interview was the fact that for Intel's core series, their i7-12700H and their i9-12900K, you know, for 12th gen, was all about getting the most performance out of those chips. And I asked him, I said, okay, that's great, but Intel has been struggling with battery life for quite a few years now. Are we going to see with Arc improved battery life? He didn't really confirm or deny, but he said he was hopeful. And by hopeful, he meant he wasn't allowed to say. 
But now that I have this system in front of me, I'm excited to see that the unity of Intel CPU and Intel GPU in a system has not only given us good performance, but improved the battery life of a processor that previously did not get great battery life, the i7-12700H. The best battery life I'd seen out of it at the time was about seven hours. And this one was about 10 hours and 40 minutes. So when it comes to Intel Arc, it's less about, oh, we're stepping up the game with the best performance you've ever seen, and more about you're getting great performance on par, if not better than the current offerings, and you're taking current offerings and improving their efficiency. So basically the power load is being shared between the CPU and the GPU in a very constructive manner that produces great results. Punch for punch, I would absolutely buy the Asus ZenBook Flip 15 OLED. However, until I get my hands on another Intel Arc laptop system and I can prove out that this was just a fluke, it makes me nervous to say, hey, go out and buy any laptop with an Intel Arc GPU in it. I wanna test more, I wanna validate that this was a one-time occurrence and we're not gonna see it happen again in other laptops. Keep an eye on the channel as I will be testing more. I'm really excited about what Intel is doing and I'm excited to review more of their stuff on the channel. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.